In this video, we're gonna talk about how to be a professional musician. Here we go. Hi, my name is Eric. I'm the host of The Violin Podcast, where I interview violinists from around the world. I also, on occasion, give marketing tips and strategies for the musician coming across this channel. If you are a new member, uh, welcome. Please make sure to subscribe and hit those bell notifications. Now, there are a lot of conversations about how to be a professional musician. What does it mean to be a professional musician? Well, yeah, when the moment, <laughs> it, it's kind of a funny topic because nobody, all professional violinists don't consider themselves to be a professional violinist, right? And I think that there's uh, a few ways that you can go ahead and to be uh, a professional violinist. I think the moment you become a professional violinist is when you earn income, uh, earn money well, as, a, as a violinist. And I think in that sense, you become professional. But there are other ways and um, other aspects to what a professional musician and what it means. So for me, you know, I, for those of you who don't know me, I have a bachelor's and master's in violin performance. And there was actually a meeting that I, I was speaking at. And um, there was, it was, it was about a project that I wasn't able to uh, do because of the, because of the pandemic. But this person who was sitting in the audience was like, wait, they have a master's for violent performance. And I even explained to this guy that there's a doctorate degree for violent performance. So what do those things entail? Like why go to, uh, you know, music school to be a professional violinist, especially in the year 2020? Like these are uh, common things that we all talk about, even in the professional world, about what does it mean to be a musician in 2020? And I think that Ultimately, as a musician, we are trying to you know, create, we are in the business of creating an art form for audiences worldwide. I think that's what we continue to do as violinists and musicians all around the world. So what are the steps to become a professional musician? That's a tricky topic because you are the only person that can give yourself permission to to pursue your dreams as a musician or as a violinist or whatever, you know? And if you don't want to be a professional violinist, that's okay. Maybe this is the video that kind of helps you decide. I'm like, you know what? Maybe music is not for me. And I think that's okay too. You know, being a professional musician is a tough job. And I oftentimes say that to a lot of, you know, people who ask me like, what's it like being a professional musician? What's it like playing the violin and teaching the violin, performing the violin full time. And it's, uh, it comes, you know, it comes with a lot of uh, thoughts because, you know, being a professional musician, you always have to be on top of your game. You have to always be ready for anything. You know, if you're a performing artist and you get a call the next day saying, hey, I need a substitute for this orchestral cycle or for this solo with this orchestra, things like that do happen and you always have to be ready. So I think there is a level of stress that is associated with that. What excites me about being a professional musician is that I do get to share my thoughts and my creativity with the world. I think that's something unique that we all get to do as uh, musicians and violinists worldwide. And And leave a comment down below on what excites you about being a musician or being a violinist. And uh, also comment down below if you're interested in hearing some topics from the Violin Podcast or um, featuring certain kinds of guests. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. You know, becoming a professional violinist comes with a lot of practice. We've always heard that 10,000 hours of practice and then you'll become a professional musician. But it's also just maximizing those hours and practice time. You know, making sure you're making the use of every single minute, that you're not wasting any minute. And if you really focus on the practice, you know, by the way, I don't encourage you and I don't encourage all, any of my students to practice seven or eight hours a day. You could actually get a lot done in three and a half to four hours and you can divide your time up accordingly throughout the day, you know, if you have a lot of time, I, for one, tend to be a morning person. So I like doing a lot of my practicing in the mornings. You know, the moment I do practicing at night, like my mind is fuzzy after a full day of teaching, it just, but it doesn't work. But sometimes that is the case and you just kind of have to push through it. Uh, if you have a deadline coming up or if you have a performance to uh, prepare for, those are all common things. And also comment down below if you, if that has, has ever happened to you. 
and also leave a timestamp uh, down below if uh, with the with the section I'm talking about. So the advice that I would give anyone who aspires to be a professional violinist, hmm. Well, I think finding a good mentor or a good teacher to help guide you through the steps of becoming a a musician, like a as having a career as a musician, that is what helped me succeed is having mentors around me and people that you want to um, switch lives with. That was actually the best advice I was ever given um, back in high school. Uh, I just graduated high school. I just, you know, my parents were like, you got to get a job. You got to start earning now. And this was a year, be- this was the summer before college. And I was working for a knife company. Believe it or not, I was working and selling knives over the summer. And this manager, he told me that, you know, to really aspire to what you want to be or who you want to be, take advice from someone you want to switch lives with. And that will help you succeed in the long run. So if there is a if there's a violin teacher or if there's an institution or if the people at the institution who you admire and you like their ideologies, you like their their way of living, you know, all you know, being a being a violinist is not just about playing music. It's about you know, it's a lifestyle. Being an artist is a lifestyle. So you get into that mindset of being a violinist and try to find someone who you can take advice from, really. And there's a lot of bad advice out there. So you want to be very careful on who you talk to. And my best advice for anyone who's listening or who's watching is to take advice from someone who you want to switch lives with. I think that is the best advice that you can get. And also, this relates to practice methods, uh, practice strategies, what kind of repertoire you want to learn as a violinist, that all comes into play too. And, you know, looking for a teacher can be a little complicated. And uh, I encourage all viewers to watch some of those episodes on the Violin Podcast. Uh, You know, links will be down below in the description. But you want to make sure that you listen to those episodes and listen to what these professionals have gone through uh, in terms of competitions, in terms of what you want to be as a when you grow up you know we always ask that like what do we want to be who do we want to be in five years as a violinist as a person as a musician etc so i hope you gain value from this video and uh, let me know uh, what other videos i should make or what other topics you would like me to discuss i think um you know as an educator and as a violinist i always oftentimes think about you know have we really made it like if you're working as a violinist are you, have you made it? I think there's that constant hustle. There's that entrepreneurial mindset uh, behind musicians that we can, um, that we're always trying to get the next thing. We're, you know, the mo- you're as good as your last concert. So you have to continue creating, continue performing, continue practicing. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video of the Violent Podcast. Um, I really appreciate it every viewer who gets to watch this video. If you liked what you've heard and if you like watching these videos, please make sure to subscribe and hit those bell notifications where um, future episodes will be released. So we'll see you next time in the next video.